And I just got back from the farmer's market and I have a plethora of the most gorgeous fruits and vegetables and the timely and must be used right away, most delicate squash blossom. They grow on the end of squash. And in traditional um, standard fare, which we're not eating here, they are often stuffed with cheese, ricotta cheese, goat cheese, um, then fried with a batter. And so we're going to use the gorgeous squash blossoms and they're going to be delicious and we're going to keep them raw and dairy free and gluten free. And so we have a choice of what to stuff them with. And we can make a like a ricotta or a creamy cheese with cashews and water and salt and lemon juice and then we can flavor it with chives and garlic and stuff the squash blossoms or we can take these soaked walnuts i soaked them to deactivate them just two hours rinsed and drained and kept in the refrigerator and i can make a pate a creamy kind of cheesy pate with blended walnuts with water, avocado, and some seasoning. And I was thinking, because my next dish is going to be, I got the most beautiful Persian cucumbers and dill, and I thought I'd make a creamy dill sauce for the cucumbers next with some purple onion. So I thought, why not, since I already have the walnuts, um, do a little combination. I'm going to use walnuts, a little bit of cashews, and some avocado to make the stuffing and that's what we will do. So the equipment needed, obviously we need the squash blossoms. The equipment needed, you can make a pate in the Nutribullet. I found it out the other day when I didn't feel like pulling out my food processor and I wanted to make a pate over a salad. You can see the picture on Instagram. So please follow me on Instagram, join me there because I'm doing 15 second um, no excuses meals, raw food meals. So I wanted to do a quick meal and I made a walnut pate in here. So I'm going to do a half a cup of water, half a cup or so of almonds, um, walnuts, which is brain food, really good for our brains. And then I'll put in a little cashews because the cashews will make it creamy. Uh, hold on. Maybe we're going to hold for me. So we have some water and it looks about half a cup. You can measure measure the walnuts for fun. Uh, measuring around here is an odd. That won't fit. I like the measuring cups that are oblong in shape because they will fit in jars and for some reason they're not here. So if I can't fit it in the jar then I'll do two quarter cups for half. So we have one, two, and I'm going to put in a quarter cup of cashews. And we can always add more. I may have added too much water and we can thicken it up with nuts. Thicken it up with nuts. Usually you add less water just to add the water as you go, but that's okay. So then I'm going to use garlic and I'm going to use salt. About a quarter teaspoon maybe half if you like it really garlicky. And the way that, so we're making the stuffing now, and then we'll stuff the squash blossoms, and at the end we can rub some olive oil and kind of bread them in ground flax seeds. So I have my flax seeds that I keep in the freezer, and I grind them because that's the way they stay freshest. So if you grind them, they can go rancid. Um, they're the freshest just like when you, yeah, they're the freshest when you grind them per use. So I will grind them with the Nutribullet as well when I'm done. So we have this, I'm going to blend these, make it very smooth, and then I'll add the avocado. I have to add the salt, that would be a good idea. Okay, so usually I like to just do a quarter teaspoon of salt um, so that you can always add more. It's easy to over salt your food, but don't want to do that. Less is more. I'm going to say that's a little liquidy. So let's put some more almonds in. I keep saying almonds, I mean walnuts. That's a quarter of a cup. So I'm using, a, so far in this I used a cup, but I really believe that I put in too much water. So you can, I would say it's safe with a half a cup of walnuts and a half a cup of water. Here we go. Okay, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's like, got like, um, a little bit thinner than a sour cream at the moment. 
okay? Tastes divine already. We don't have lemon juice in it, and I don't believe I have lemons, and this can happen to you at home. So, that can happen. You know, you go to the market, you get everything, and all of a sudden you realize you're home and you don't have lemons. What you can do is use apple cider vinegar. It gives it a little bit of the tartness. Then I'll put in my beautiful reed avocado. This is from JJ Loan. I always say it wrong. Farmer, farmer Daughter Ranch. Follow them on Instagram. I follow them on Instagram. So this is a gorgeous avocado. And they're a healthy fat for us, good for our brain and our nervous system. Okay. Okay, so now I need to taste it now that I've added the avocado to see if it needs more flavor because we added more substance and I'm going to say that it needs more salt. And we can fold in some chives if we want. A little more apple cider vinegar. We can fold in some chives would be nice, some tarragon, some onion. Um, flavor it as you wish with the things that you have readily available. Fresh is always best. I tend to use uh, I tend to use powdered garlic because it's cooked. I like the cooked flavor of the cooked garlic as opposed to raw. But everything else, I prefer my herbs fresh. Okay, so what we need now is a plate. We're going to grind our flax seeds. It takes two seconds, and we're going to. That, this, is our gluten-free breadcrumbs. That's just totally legit. I can put uh, that on a plate to bread it. But first we're going to just stuff the squash blossoms. And how are we going to do that? With a little teaspoon of the mixture. And if it's too thick and won't go in, you can thin it out a bit. Let's just see about that. This seems like it should be just right. And I think it will be helpful to put the mixture in a little bowl. It will be easier for us. Okay. So now we have this beautiful mixture. And we open up. I'm sure this is where you'd like to have a close-up camera, and I promise I'm working on it. It's going to be fun for you to be able to see my hands while I'm doing these things. Open it up. I think you could use a pastry bag, but not everybody has a pastry bag at home. And I'm just going to open up the flour and put the stuffing in. <laughs> They're so malleable and fresh and beautiful. There, just kind of pipe it in. It would be good to use a piping bag, really. But this is home, and we do the best we can without a lot of fancy equipment. And the Nutribullet could probably be the best thing you could ever get for yourself because not only can you grind flax and have it be fresh and put that over a soup or a smoothie or a salad, you can have all the omega fatty acids fresh and ready to go. You can make creamy things, puddings, uh, pâtés, and you know it's not expensive. And so that's it. And then you just twist the end. And what we're going to do is brush it with some olive oil or drizzle it or something. Let's see how we do this. Probably I'll sprinkle. Um, so beautiful. And I will just put Right in there, and I'm going to take a picture so you can see it up close and personal, and one of us here can eat it. One of us here can eat it. <laughs> one of us here can if they want to come into the camera, but if not, then I'm just going to take a bite out of it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a bite out of it. Nobody wants to be on camera today. I'm, I'm solo, but that's okay. I'm not always alone, although it appears that way. I'm going to bite it right now. It's so good. Mm. I'm eating a flower. Anyway, mm. I love 
of it. I think lemon juice would be nice. I would add a little more zing to it. But this is how you stuff and eat a squash blossom raw, dairy free, gluten free. It's so delicious. And I wouldn't say this would last any time in the refrigerator. I think you need to eat it right away. These squash blossoms need to be used today or they will wilt. Nothing that wrong with eating them the next day wilted, but if you want them to look oh so beautiful, time's up the essence. Get your greens on and your squash blossoms on. I will see you guys very soon.